Do you want to see a classic Halo gameplay experience within Halo Infinite? Well, Microsoft is asking you that question right now. A question from a Halo survey recently leaked out, and I'm not gonna be able to show it because, well, you're definitely not supposed to see these as they are highly confidential. But the cat's out of the bag, so let's talk about it. Though I do feel like people are building this up to be more than it might actually be. Let me explain. Also, if you like these news informational videos, make sure you tap like, and if you're part of that 80 some odd percent of people who watch the channel who are not subscribed and want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, well, you know what to do then. So let's get right into those details. The leaked question from the survey says, imagine having a classic Halo multiplayer experience like Halo CE, Halo 2, or Halo 3 that retained the settings, sandbox items, maps, modes, and overall feel from that classic title but built in Halo Infinite. This would mean offering the best of a classic Halo multiplayer experience that would also benefit from more modern quality of life improvements, updated visuals, and be part of Halo Infinite's progression and customization systems. How interested would you be in having the ability to play this kind of classic Halo multiplayer experience in Halo Infinite. And it gives you options of like not interested at all to very interested in everything in between. Now we've touched on this a little bit already within Halo Infinite when it came to the Halo 3 refueled playlist. And well, that was really popular. People really liked that mode. One, because the Forge maps were amazing and also had a bit of a classic Halo feel to it. And at the time of recording this video, Halo 3 refueled is pretty much a permanent playlist now because people enjoyed it that much. So I'm sure 343 is thinking though, what if we did that for other Halo titles like Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 2? But this sounds more in depth when it comes to that same, especially when it comes to like modes, sandbox items and settings. Meaning could we have the classic shotgun return, the Magnum returning within Halo Infinite as well? To me, that sounds absolutely amazing. And I totally would play that. Though it does sound like a lot of work for a very niche thing to do within Halo Infinite, as I feel like that would really divide up the player base a lot when it came to just jumping into Halo Infinite. To me, this sounds like a specific section within Halo Infinite you could play that would mimic the classic gameplay experiences rather than rather than changing Halo Infinite into something that was more classic style. Plus specific sandbox items would be very difficult for 343 to pull off right now. I mean we're still having issues with the gravity hammer and even having proper physics with that. That's the main reason why you don't have Griff Ball as a playable mode within Halo Infinite at the moment because it just wouldn't play out the same. And there's a bunch of little weird things that happen underneath the hood when it comes to Halo Infinite. So seeing that they want to like add more things that could possibly mess with the sandbox could potentially break the game. And of course, bring up the classic Halo gameplay experience. You can't help but think of the Master Chief Collection. So why wouldn't people just jump over to play that? Well, there is a pretty good sizable portion of Halo players who are still playing the Master Chief Collection and not hopping into Halo Infinite. Like if 343 really wants to go big on the multiplayer classic side of things, they could just try to recreate those classic experiences, but put it within Halo Infinite, which then would bring a lot of those Master Chief Collection players over to Halo Infinite would probably effectively double the population because if you look at the steam charts obviously this is a small section of the total population that plays halo but you can see with peak concurrent player count for the last 24 hours being around five and a half thousand players not too shabby within the last 24 hours of recording this halo infinite's peak population on steam alone is around seven and a half thousand players so if you're able to funnel those Master Chief Collection players over into Halo Infinite, just get them within the ecosystem of that game, give them an experience that they really enjoy within Halo Infinite. You could see them maybe buying into microtransactions or playing that game more often, which would definitely help boost the numbers of Halo Infinite, make it look more popular. Though if you have the Master Chief Collection playable already, that gives you that classic experience, exactly what you want. I don't see a lot of people switching over from the Master Chief Collection over into Halo Infinite to have the same experience Experience, but with like quality of life and graphic improvements because this is all pure nostalgia bait right this works for with halo really well because most of the time when people started playing halo it was during halo c halo 2 halo 3 now even halo reach and like we said earlier with the halo 3 playlist that was a huge hit people really enjoyed it but i feel like if you want to get like a true nostalgia hit you could just play the master chief collection because i think there's a bit of a feel i guess is the way to put it when it comes to playing those games specifically because it has that same exact visual that you remember back in the early 2000s of playing halo for the first time which then makes you think like are they gonna try to shut down the servers of master chief collection to funnel players into halo infinite because i think that, that would be the only way that to truly do it and so if you're gonna try to piss off that entire fan base of closing the multiplayer experience of master chief collection to funnel them into halo infinite you gotta give those players who want that classic experience some kind of outlet to 
keep playing Halo and be engaged with the franchise. Though I don't see the shutdown of the servers of the Master Chief Collection happening anytime soon since we've been still receiving updates for the game with new content and experiences to have. Yes, the game was released in 2014, so it's pushing 10 years old, which is getting close to that year frame where Microsoft considers shutting down servers of games that are live and multiplayer experiences like Halo Reach was just over 10 years old on the Xbox 360 when they shut down the servers there. But I don't really see Microsoft shutting down the Master Chief Collection servers anytime soon as the game is still popular and being played at the moment. And really the game didn't become its true form until about 2019 actually. So it still feels relatively new within the grander scheme of game releases. So is 343 going to create these classic Halo games within Halo Infinite? That depends on how much work they really are able to put into it. Do they want to just basically recreate those engines and those experiences and weapons, which kind of sounds like it within this survey question, or they kind of do more of a temporary playlist thing like with the Halo 3 refuel, which is basically Halo Infinite on Halo 3 maps. Though it would be really interesting to see if you could do Halo Combat Evolved gameplay, but with Halo Infinite's gameplay mechanics. If you want to do a true Halo Combat Evolved recreation within Halo Infinite, you would have to bring back that Magnum, which would create a lot of work for a 343. They really get that experience properly, but is it worth it? That's why they did that kind of survey. And like I said earlier, Nostalgia Bay is an easy win when it comes to Halo. Just look at any form of marketing that utilizes Master Chief or the Halo franchise in some kind of form. And it's always like, hey, remember back in the day when Halo was really freaking cool? Well, now you can buy this thing. Personally, I don't really care too much to have these classic gameplay experiences. I like bringing in the new maps and stuff like that, like we had with the Halo 3 Refueled, but to completely recreate these experiences within Halo Infinite, I would probably just rather want to go play the Master Chief Collection. As if I'm trying to get that experience of those classic Halo games, well, I would just play those classic Halo games as they're still very viable and playable right now. But those are my opinions on this whole entire leak right here. What are your thoughts? Would you want to see a classic Halo experience recreated within Halo Infinite? Let me know in the comments down below. If you missed any content from me recently, check out this video right here. And uh, well, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.